and here I am. Hey everybody, uh, this is Carson Clues with HTA Martial Arts Kaiser and Cry for Kids. Um, we're doing a video series where we're talking about parenting hacks from uh, martial arts. Uh, stuff that we learned as martial arts instructors that, again, we don't want to run in there and like tell people how to parent because Ava does that to me, I get my pack up like, what? However, um, if we have tools in our toolbox that would help parents, like that would add to a parent's arsenal, we want to offer that. And for myself as a martial arts instructor for 16 years, but a parent four and a half years, uh, these are things that I learned from martial arts that I could plug into my parenting that others could potentially do too. So we wanted to share those with you. Uh, last video we talked about um, setting the expectation but then also the idea of preparation. How do we not just say this is what we expect but how do we prepare them? What do we do to prepare them to meet that expectation? And then incentive, why is it important to the child? This video we're going to talk about something that is so simple that it it always happens, it can't not happen. However, how do we do it right? And that is role modeling. Now, kids naturally role model. We know that because we've heard our kids say things that we said that we wish that our child didn't hear us say because then they said it. So we've had that experience. But as we talk about role modeling and um, what we, how we can do that better as parents, what we're going to talk about here is not so much the you need to be a good role model lecture, but more along the lines of how do we treat it when our kid copies our example or when our kid copies another example, how do we treat it? And what we want to do is, um, let me back up for a moment, um, here's the rule that we learned as martial arts instructors. Martial arts should be easy to learn and easy to teach. Period. I'd love to tell you that it is super complicated to teach and therefore only I have the secrets. And if you just um, take a pay for this gigantic long course from me, you can learn all the secrets of how to teach martial arts. But the, the secret to teaching martial arts is keep it simple. Children, well everybody really, but children learn martial arts by copying. And we teach martial arts by role modeling. So uh, that's the first step. The second step is as we role model and as the student copies, here's where it gets tough. Do we try and, um, and get them to copy it correctly? Or do we reinforce the, the copying itself? And that is the next key that we can apply to parenting is first, we set the role model. Second, we reinforce any attempt whatsoever that the student tries to copy that role model. So if I point my knee high, on, let's go with the knife hand. If I do a knife hand strike and I pull this hand back like this, Boom! And then another student comes up and they go, oh, like that. Am I going to say, hey kid, make sure to turn that hand? No, not, not today. Not, not in the beginning. Because the first thing that we need to do is we need to make sure that every time the student attempts, that's the key word, is attempts. Every time the student attempts to copy that role model, it is a positive confidence building experience. That does not mean that we drop our standards on technique and say this technique is good enough. What it means is that we as instructors do not make any, do not make corrections until the student has it established that copying the role model, copying the instructor is a positive experience. Now the next stage is this, after a long time of doing that, and, and the, let me back up, the beautiful thing about it is that if we can reinforce any attempt at copying the role model, here's what's great, the student will continue to do it. 
and then in martial arts suddenly we don't have to fix this right here that kid will suddenly one day see oh the instructor turned his bottom hand you see and so that makes our job easier and more effective because now the student wants to copy the role model because every time it was a positive, uplifting experience. And so they keep doing it. And they start to copy every little thing about the technique until, what do you know, suddenly the student looks like the instructor. Boom. That's what we're going for. Now, how do we do that with, how do we apply that to parenting? Well, we're going to do the same thing. Um, for example, my four and a half year old, Abrielle, uh, she, when she sees us sweeping, <laughs> not us, when she sees her mom sweeping, when she was one year old, two years old, she would get her little toy, we had to get her a toy broom because she really wanted to grab that broom and sweep. She loved copying the role model. Now, we, when we tell her, hey, fold the cloth diapers, this, this is bad, this is a crisis. I was like, oh, do I have to? And Yes, we had to make her do it. We're not saying never make your kid do things. What we are saying is when your child wants to do something, we don't want to go, no, 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 don't sweep like that, sweep like this. We want to reinforce that attempt. So, no time. So, as we talk about that, our goal at home, if we catch our child copying our good behavior, copying behavior we want the child to have, that is not the best time to go for quality control, but rather to go for motivation building. Yes, you're, you're sweeping. You're really helpful. Thank you for helping. Step number, the next stage is once the child loves helping, once the child is excited to do that copying, now if we need to add quality control, we can do it but we're going to do it in a way that implies the student is good at this, not that implies that they're bad at this. So one of the ways we like to do that in martial arts is we're not going to say better with a student whose confidence still needs to grow. We're going to say even better. So if I say, hey, if you want to clean better, try and get all the dirt you're sweeping into this one spot. Now, if a student is low confidence, they might think, Oh, if I can do it better, that means I'm not doing very good. But if we use the words even better, hey, if you want to sweep even better, try and get it all in this zone. That'll make it even better. Now, even better implies you're already doing a good job. This is going to make it better. This is going to improve what you're already doing well. So, in that way, we can, use, we can make copying the role model a positive experience. If it becomes a negative or corrective experience earlier on, then suddenly the student co stops copying the role model. They don't want to do it. It wasn't a positive example. But if it's a positive experience, they will keep doing it on their own, and they'll start to make themselves better on their own just by copying the role model. So again, that's what we have for Parenting Hacks from Martial Arts about role modeling. Um, if you'd like more of these, please uh, like this video, share with your friends, and uh, most of all, like our page, ATA Martial Arts and Cry for Kids Kaiser. We're going to keep coming out with these. And in the comments below, I want to hear what you think of this. I want to hear um, your feedback or things that you've noticed. Uh, things that, if you try it and it's great, cool. If you're already doing it and you know it's a great result, you're already doing it and you're struggling with it, anything like that, I would love to hear your feedback. Again, this is Carson Clues with ATA Martial Arts and Cry for Kids in Kaiser, and I'll see you next video.